Today, we're doing beef fajitas. I'm Brian Brickman, and welcome back to another episode of Brick Eats. And like I said, today we're doing beef fajitas. We've got skirt steak. We've got 2.2 pounds of skirt steak. Now this stuff is wonderful. This is a great cut of meat. It's real fatty, it's real gristly. Now the key to this meat is you don't just season and throw it on the grill. You let it marinate, and I'm gonna show you the marinade right now. Very simple marinade. It's gonna give it some flavor. It's gonna give it some salt. It's gonna give it some citrus to break down that, that meat, make it a little more tender, and uh, gonna give it some heat. Let's get right after it. Like I said, this marinade recipe is really simple. All you're gonna need is lime juice. <laughs> Don't laugh. It's quarantine, man. This is the only lime juice I could find, so you just need one of these. It's four ounces or a quarter cup. You could do fresh limes if you could find them. You're also gonna need a half a cup of water, about two tablespoons of olive oil, like about two. <laughs> Four cloves of crushed garlic. Not minced, crushed. We also need soy sauce, salt, little cayenne pepper for the heat, and pepper. And that's it. Mix it up. Take your bag. Then you're gonna add the skirt stay. Throw it in here real quick and then we'll mix it up in a second. Ooh wee! Squeeze that air out of there real good. Now we're gonna mix it up. Get a nice cover on it. You wanna get it nice and flat when you get it in the fridge because what you want is surface area. What you want, you wanna get that nice surface area as much contact with that marinade as possible. And you're gonna leave that in there for at least two hours, if not four or even overnight. And I try to flip it every hour, shake it up a little bit just to make sure it's getting a good coating. So we'll come back and get that when we're ready to grill it. Okay, so it's been about five hours on our marinade. Our steak is ready to go. So I've got the big green egg heating up right now. The vegetable's on. Let's get the steak on. That's what we wanna see. Let's take a look. God, smelling that marinade smells amazing. There we go, got the steak down. Now let's do the, let the big green egg do its job. Take a look at this bad boy. Oh yeah. I am just about done there. I do believe that's ready to come on. Let's get this baby inside. Now you always let the steak rest for at least five minutes. The steak keeps cooking, so you don't want to cut into it right away. You want to make sure it rests. So as you can see, we have all our toppings ready to go to have some good fajitas. The most important part is obviously the steak. My wife made homemade corn tortillas. We've got fresh shredded cheese. We've got sour cream. This is a chipotle salsa. And uh, of course our veggies and some fresh limes to squeeze over top. They want to cut against the grain. Mmm, look at that tender, tender, still a little pink on the inside. That is perfect right there. Look at that. See how pliable it is? Like I said, these are fresh, homemade corn tortillas. And now for the test. Mmm, mmm, that is perfect. That steak is amazing. Well, there you go. That's how to make skirt steak at your own house. Thank you for watching to the end. And you know the drill. Subscribe in the corner. Keep eating. And we'll see you.